technically you at home before you even got off work. So you were two places at once. It, that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, yeah. Like it's it, you okay? It's this mind thing. I you malfunction. Yeah. Hey, what's going, everybody? I'm Willie B. And I'm L. Will. And we about to hit y'all with some trending topics. So make sure you follow us at The Q Brand on all social media. Follow us, respectively, at uh, Willie B Music. It was like Will. And turn on the push notifications, like, comment, share, subscribe, retweet, do the whole nine. Do that. Let's hit y'all with this first topic of the day. Number one. Floyd Mayweather is out here on his sex capade, you dig? <laughs> See, what? He is. He was out here buying these sex toys from the Hustler store. A celebrity website uh, posted screenshots from Mayweather's Snapchat story. So he was out here Snapchatting. You got to. You um, got to. Which showed the boxing great staring at the store's fetish wall and even cracking a leather whip. He was out there with some bad chicks. Yo, it's a video um, I think TMZ posted where like it was some chicks in there with him and or some nice young women. Okay. I want to call them here. Okay. And man, boy, was they bad. It was like three or four of them. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering like, yo, how much money do you have to have? To have three or four people be like, yep, I'm in on the five song. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think you need that much money. What do you mean? How, all right. Just I give would... them all like $20. They be like, okay. So I only need $80. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I only need $80 to have a five song. Try it. How, many, how much money do I need to have a three song? Well, I don't know. If you're doing $20 a person, it's only like $40. So does that include like all right? So do you gotta give them like room, bed, lodging, food? You, you booking them? Like, is it like per diem? Like, oh God. like, cause I'm if saying it, if it's going that far, don't do it. Just wait, what? Just don't do it. I'm just seeing what this price point is. Or be like a billionaire boxer. Is he a billionaire? He can't be a billionaire. Oh, he's spending it on. Uh, no. Yeah, I, I think the only reason for him, mother, mother, mother. Mayweather. I, Mayweather. See, the weather's all inclement. He's Mayweathering, and it's actually December. Still not women. But I think the only reason he don't have a billion is because he keeps spending on sex toys. <laughs> I mean, if he betting against himself, he's going to win every time. So every time, because you cannot risk to lose if you betting against yourself. <laughs> like, I'm going to owe myself money. That's <laughs> terrible. All right, so next topic. Yeah. They found Tupac's gun a while ago, and apparently now it's new in news. So let's figure out why. Right. So in 06, the deputy recognized this gun's address where the weapon had been discovered from the documents that was that happened, you know, in 1998, yeah. as the home of a girlfriend of a gang member who had previous issues with Tupac. That same year, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives at the ATF tested the handgun which matched ballistics results from the weapon used to murder the rapper in 96. Mm. So this, so 98 was two years after the yeah. killing. That, that's when the weapon was found in 06. Um, they finding that that weapon was found in documents. So they sent the weapon back to the Las Vegas Police Department and from there the gun's whereabouts became unknown. So this, this got destroyed. I feel like. Hey, and It's all getting uncovered now. And I think that uh, I think that it's a conspiracy theory. Like, yeah. who killed Tupac is always gonna be a question. Well, my thing is, I feel like people know who killed Tupac, but yeah. they're not gonna say it. Yeah, you can't. Are you gonna die too? But everybody gonna die eventually, so just let us no, know we who live. killed Tupac. I mean, he's still with us with his music. That's that's not enough. Apparently, a girlfriend of a dude who had beef with Tupac at least had a you know, backyard with the gun in it, so see, I don't know. See, you better be careful who you kick it with. All in them videos, dancing. So next topic we got uh, is the behind the scenes of the Ice Tray video with Quavo and Lil Yachty. This uh -huh. was on that uh, compilation from QC. QC so, the label. So basically, after teasing the visual for a while, cause you know, they had that famous line, like, if, if somebody hating, call him Joe Budden, which I don't think Joe Budden a hater, but that's a different story. Uh, Quavo and Lil Yachty finally dropped off their video for Ice Tray, which is a song that mocks Joe Budden, and that dropped on December 19th. And uh, now Quavo also offered up a behind the scenes look at the video shoot. So this is a video of them um, telling the dude to shave his head. This is the dude who playing Joe Budden. Okay. They giving Joe Budden a lot of power right now. Gucci jacket? 
Alright, so this dude getting suited up is Joe Budden. He got the beard, he got hair. Now we know Joe Budden don't got hair. No, I thought that was Jim the whole time. He said 500 bucks to him, and he already got the barber there. I, I, bro, I wrote 500. He looked like he ain't about to do it. He looked like he ain't about to do it. How do you book that? I, I need a little light like go book. <laughs> Look at he just. He like, yeah. I can't wait to see Joe yeah. Button. <laughs> Back into camera. Push in. He did it. He did it. He and did really it. Nice tight on the face. I'm so confused. It's so much demise and ill will. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> But would you shave, if you was in the video, would you shave your hair for 500 in the video? Yes. Like right then and there? I, I don't need hair. <laughs> this ain't even good hair. This is just, it's fake. I got this off eBay. Yo, so, so, <laughs> all right, but, all right, so he said 500. Would you have gone lower? If you was getting, you already booked to do the video. It's Joe Button. Right. It, are it, you they, doing, are you cutting your hair for They probably didn't even pay him. They probably just gave him some Ciroc or Bel Air or something. <laughs> Wait, Bel Air? That's I, like 30 bottles. Hey, all right. Like, they had this dude drive out and like he probably do a video. Was in wherever they was at. Like I think, all right, I would have did it for. Oh yeah. If you already booking me for the video, I think they, if they was, if, I think if I knew I was playing Joe Budden, I would have just came shaved. But right, I don't know knowing that, knowing yeah. now that he did not come Joe Budden fight. <laughs> like <laughs> he didn't Joe Budden fight. Like you know, like what? Say what, that one more time. Joe Budden fight. Okay. Like, I don't understand what's so difficult about Joe Butterfly. So basically, <laughs> I would have just came up ball, but knowing that he didn't and he gave him an extra 500 on top of like, they probably giving him food and all types of accoutrement. Bro, this is like, Migos. What do you mean? This is Migos. You don't think they hooking him up? <laughs> you think they found a dude on the street and was like, yo. Yeah. You look like Joe Button be in this video. Yeah. And you think the dude's like, you Quavo. <laughs> <laughs> I sure would like to be in Amigos video. I've always wanted to be in one. <laughs> oh, please book me. And it, I think on, I think he was Pardon already getting paid. Me. But I don't uh, know. But I would have shaved it. I would have shaved it. Yeah. I would have shaved it. I would have shaved it. I would have shaved it. Dude, I would have shaved it. If you, I would have shaved it. If you're paying, what, $20 for a haircut, 500 just to cut it all off, that's... And your hair going to grow back perfect anyway, so cool. No, it's not. That might have been the last of his hair. <laughs> Yo. Generic barber. All right, so question of the day. How much distance constitutes a long distance relationship for you? Mm. So what would you say? What would, what would be the distance for you? I don't even know anything about mileage for real. But like, if I can't walk it's there. It's 5,280 feet in a mile. Well, if I can't walk there, that's long distance. You can walk anywhere. It's people that walk. <laughs> And you know the one say, if I could walk 500 miles, huh? Would you walk 500 miles to see your girl? <laughs> I'm not walking. Look at the line. <laughs> I'm not walking five miles <laughs> to see anybody. Long distance, five miles. <laughs> <laughs> How far would you walk for a relationship? <laughs> Yo, uh, well, take, let's take walking out the equation. All right, if your area code different. I don't all right, know. actually, all right. So one person said over 50 miles. That's what I'm kind of thinking too. 50 miles is right. like, kind of like the limit. It's long distance after that point. Somebody said not being driving distance, but then I'm like, well, you can drive anywhere. Like yeah. you just can't drive over water. So like people drive to Atlanta. So are you not in a long distance relationship from like New York to Atlanta? Right. Like, oh yeah, I can drive there. So yeah, I'm gonna go see my girl. Somebody said I drove to Florida to see someone. Okay. And then somebody else put when it's unreasonably inconvenient to get to them. But then they think they should have just gave a mileage. I should have been more specific. Because people got like, people like to answer with like weird loopholes and stuff. Yeah, man. they're like, oh, in consideration with my love yeah. and endearment. Right. Somebody said a different state or four to eight hours. All right, I can see that. Another person said over 30 miles or a different area code. All right, 30 miles, that's you can go 30 miles in New York, can't you? Like the city of New York? I, I guess so. Man, so you in a long distance relationship if you live like in uh, upper yeah. Manhattan and somebody live in Long Island or something like that? Right, and that's like a puppy love. Like, I can't even go see you unless we're in Oh yeah, another person said, if I can't spend the night and get to work the next morning, it's long different. Yeah. 
So <laughs> like I said, if I can't spend the night and get to work the next morning, it's long distance. I mean, technically speaking, you can spend the night somewhere. Yeah, you can always get to work. Just two hours you, away when and you get to work if you leave two hours early. Yeah, if you're going to wake up. I don't know what you're spending the night for. <laughs> is, you, is, you, is you married? And then, uh, we is had, you married? Wait, who married? No. Are you married? I'm married. You are? Yeah. Where's your ring? I, I, I don't believe you. You're supposed to ball out on the ring. That, that's not what you do. That's an American thing. Where are you? Where are you? Huh? I'm in, Where are you? I'm in Canada right now. Right now? Yeah. So where am I? You're in America. That's the border right here. And then another comment uh, we had, if I can't get to work the next morning in 25 minutes, which is the same distance as my place. All right, I man, 25 minutes. Man, people want quick drive. So basically, if you live like one city away, it's a wrap for a lot of people. How long are people driving to go to work or something? I know some people drive over an hour to get to work every day. I would every quit. day. I would just move there. Every day. <laughs> every day. It's some people that live in one state and drive to the next state to go to work. They, oof, every day. They got a good car. Every day. Work, it's people who live in one car. time zone and drive to another time zone to get to work. Okay, I don't know about all that. Every day. <laughs> it's going to take every more day. than a day to get there. I mean, no, it just knocks you off an hour. 